Tim Collins will come in today and rent the Civic Center. I'm starting to lose my voice. I'm talking to many people. <laughs> Senator elect Garland Gudger. How's that sound, buddy? That sounds great. I, I like the ring of that for sure. Uh, this was, you put everything you had in this campaign. What, what are your feelings right now? I'm ecstatic. I'm honored. I'm blessed. Uh, um, I'm so thankful that uh, the people validated all of our hard work and effort we put into this. So uh, I'm just I'm blessed right now and honored. Well, I thought this race would be closer than it was. It was pretty much a landslide blowout. What do you attribute that to? Uh, you know, I think just hard work and shaking people's hands and going out and meeting uh, the people as much as I possibly, possibly can in every area. Um, I just love what I do, and I hopefully it shined through, and I'm authentic about it, and I hope people saw that, and I think that's part of it. But a lot of it is just, you know, just God's on our side here and was blessed to be able just to say it's time for a change. And nothing against my opponent. He has worked his rear end off and in every aspect, and his team has. Uh, and I'm proud that he's, you know, worked so hard, and it's time for us to have a change, and I'm excited about that change. Well, I'm not trying to get you out in the future. I know when you want to enjoy this moment, but uh, you've got to transition between the president of city council yes. to a state senator. Well, have you figured that out or have you thought about it yet? We're taking it day by day right now. So we're going to enjoy tonight, then tomorrow we'll wake up and start thinking about that and what's the best way to, to go in that direction. But, yes, there is a big transition, a big responsibility, uh, a lot more accountability on top of that. But uh, that's what I signed up for, and I'm ready for that change. When I tell me this, this may be a technical question, but I don't have the answer to it. You depart the city council. Who takes your place? How does that happen? That is an appointment by the other four council members. If it's a split vote, two to two, then it's up to the mayor to have that uh, split tie vote. Um, he, ping, he brings in a third party, then it actually goes to the governor for 60 days. But 60 days from when I leave, which is officially in the November at the general election at midnight, is when I become senator. So there's a 60-day period from there. So it's up to the council when they want that to happen, sooner or later. Sounds good. Now I'm going to put you on the spot. Go ahead. Uh, I've interviewed our now former senator, soon to be former Senator Paul Buss, but every week during session yeah. for three years. Uh, would you take me up on the offer to do that with me? We would enjoy that and uh, the invitation for us to be able to work together for sure in any way that we can to get information out to the constituents so that they can hear what's going on and being able to understand what's happening in Montgomery back here in Coleman and all of District 4. Colonel, I'll talk to you when the session starts. Thanks for talking to me. Congratulations. Big win. Thank you, Tim. Senator-elect Garland Gudger. Thank you, Tim.